Hi guys, welcome again to my YouTube channel. Um, uh, in the previous, previous video, I spoke about local content and um, how we managed to now get into signing an MOU with the River State Government. Now, quite often, you do hear a lot of people, you know, signing up MOUs. Um, I think we need to detail out what we did in this one. And this is how that MOU should be structured. First of all, you need to agree on what you are going to enter into, the agreement that you're going to enter into. So for us here, it's a public-private partnership. Well, it's between the River State Government and Taft Nigeria Home. So it's a PPP. So we agreed that if we're going to structure it under a PPP, we will be the developer, and then the River State Government will be the client. So we will then sign it under a special purpose vehicle called an SPV. So it's a joint venture agreement incorporated of a special purpose vehicle. And then within this, you need to, be, you need to have a time frame. It needs to be time bound. You don't leave it open ended. And in the case of Driftaf Gulf Estate, we said after signing the MOU, we have to incorporate a JVA within 120 days. And then within the, the, the JVA also, um, uh, we agreed on executing a shareholders agreement. And then the share capital of the SPV, we agreed on it. And then the head office, where will the head office of the SPV be? And obviously, it's in, the, um, uh, in uh, the River State government. We then agreed on the costs, but at this point in time, we couldn't agree on the cost. But we said that after the concept design and the drawings are done, feasibility report all done, then we agree on the cost. But on the MOU, we also did identify the land and the size of the land, which was 40 hectares. And then we looked at the contribution of the parties and the sharing of the profits. In this case, you know, we then had the sharing of the profits, um, uh, River State government's um, uh, profit, and also our own profit. Then we stipulated time. When do we start? Because you need to have the time frame for the project. And in this case, we projected that the project will only take three years. So timing was there, and also the, the responsibilities of the River State Government were also well stipulated. We looked at, again, the obligations of the parties. The obligation of the parties, as I said, was the issuance of um, a, a title. I mean, the River State Government needed to, to issue a, an incumbent title, a land that had no legal encumbrances issued to the SPV and then with the name Riftaf Golf Estate. Those were one of the main um, uh, obligations of the government. The government also were obliged to bring in all the infrastructure, you know, all the way up to the land, meaning that water supply, electricity, you know, road network, and it was the government's responsibility to make sure it came all the way up to our boundary. And then the government also had to um, uh, give out incentives. I mean, incentives in terms of uh, some tax breaks, which had to be negotiated with the, um, uh, with the um, uh, federal government in Abuja. And one of them was to be issued with a pioneer status. And because we qualified for this, so it was the responsibility of the River State government to issue out all this, plus also all the local taxes. Now, our obligations were to finance the project. We needed to raise the finance, so that was our obligation. That we needed to provide all the infrastructure within the site. We needed to conduct a survey, both geo, um, a geotechnical survey and also land survey. All these were our responsibilities. We needed to also raise the initial capital. You know, we need to put in the initial capital, which was a proof that we have the capabilities to, to finance the project. So that was, that was done. So we did all the survey and um, um, also um, uh, safety and all the other minor obligations were done. Now, as I said, we deposited into a special account a certain amount of money within these 120 days. 
And basically, all the, the, the government wanted was to have proof that, yes, you have the means not to raise all the capital, but unless you have the means to bring in the initial capital. So that was all done. And then, obviously, there are the general provisions within the, um, within the MOU, um, uh, due diligence, amendment, assignments, I mean, confidentialities, you know, consents and, uh, and approvals, you know, and obviously, last, uh, first majeure. So these were the basic things that were done within the MOU. So the lesson to learn that is that you need to have a proper MOU always signed. And the MOU should be time bound. Never leave an op MOU open ended. And in the case of the Riftap Golf Estate, the um, uh, period for the MOU was 120 days. So within that 120 days, we had to sign and JV, a JVA under a special purpose vehicle, an SPV, called the Riftaf Golf Estate. Thank you very much, guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And um, uh, I'll see you later.